corrupt, frail man. Why don't you move? Uh, cut. Just a little further, sweet one. Just a little. He looks like a scabbed lizard. And I've seen him climb like one. And small as a child. He will never make it to the bridge. Listen. The orcs want you dead. They want all of us dead. Let's end this, shall we? No more heat. No more ashes. What say you? My king, we have to move. What say you? No more heat. No more ashes. He cannot make that climb. This is madness. Orcs. My king, we cannot linger. You remember the red stones, yes? Here's all I need you to do. Climb up to that creaking bridge. My king! Fight, or keep eating dirt. It's your choice. But we are going. Creaking bridge! Just listen, just climb up. Up, as high as you can. As soon as you light your barrel, he will light his. Drive it. Who is... Go! There is no time. Uh, Lord won't be happy. No.
real. Make that choke! <laughs> Make that bad! So, we tie him to the wall, heels up and head down. And then I put that sorry excuse of an outfit on his skull. <laughs> <laughs> but backwards, so he can't see. That stupid helmet of his. the red stone. Is that what your silence is supposed to tell me? Not one of you has seen anything. Heard anything. Done anything. No one, except for this one. No, not us. Yes. You. It wasn't there. It wasn't us. The great eye looks deep into your soul. We must tell them. He's in the war room. The Black Queen, my favorite spider. For months, 
She waits in her den for some unlucky prey. Just waits. Perfectly still. And then... You don't appreciate my allegory. The virtue of patience, yes. So much to learn from nature. However, when the trap has been set for years and still no prey in sight, we know who starts to doubt that virtue, don't we? The Lord has nothing to worry about. That is what I wish to hear. I shall leave thee to it. There you are. <laughs> Glover and Garab has climbed the silent stairs like the Master wanted. Just Master. Who does he want us to follow next? There are more urgent matters now. Come. <laughs> what matters, Master? Baggins. I know that you once spoke of him to our Lord. Describe him for me. What did he look like? <laughs> Baggins. <laughs> very dark. Where well, we met, very dark. Hardly saw him. Little thief. So he was a little creature then, like you. Small, yes, small and fat. Barely got away, didn't it? But it cheated. to wait, Elith. Go on. What else do you remember? Large feet. Large, hairy feet with no shoes. That's how it sneaked away from us. The filthy cheat. What about his face? Big eyes. Big black evil eyes. And it was bald, like a goblin imp. Why does Master ask? You need not worry about that. Say hello to your bird. Be quiet, bird. See? He worships you. Now it's time to put that devotion to use. Our breed is stronger and smarter than anything nature creates. See that jar hanging below me? There's a figurine hidden inside. Out of reach even for you, right? Well, not for your bird. You will make him fetch it for me. But first, a beast must learn obedience. Call him. Looks like you've bred a rebel. Well, go get him. Master asks about baggins. Why does it ask, eh? We wonders. Then stop wondering, because this doesn't concern you. that? Find it, yes. Go and find Baggins for the Lord. We promises. Go? The Lord will never let you leave. Trust me. Come, nice bird. Don't be scared. Hey! Ah, Master said it loves us. Love doesn't rule out fear. Come back down here. If you cannot command, you must lure. Go and take some pieces of bread. Bird like crunchy bread? More likely the grain inside. Go, see if it allows you to feed it. Nice bread, yes, nice tasty bread. 
See? What a little grain can do. Now, call him again. Nice, bud. Don't fly. Well done. Now remember the clay jar below me, out of reach for both of us? Point at it and send the bird to undo the knot. Oh. It did it! It does what we says! Yes. They do not care who we are or what we have done. Unconditional loyalty. Be that as it may, the figurine is still out of reach. We has it! Come up here. Good bird. We're not eating this one, are we, precious? We must find this Baggins before the elves do. You understand that, don't you? You know the elves, and they're cunning. They want to fill our Middle Earth with starlight. And when they do, they will know all we have done. All we have done. Fear not. We will find the Shire and kill every Baggins we can find. And then you and I and all of us will finally be free. We just need to be patient. Can you be patient? Patient, yes, we are. We has been. Like spiders. Very, very patient. Good. For so have I. But now it is time for you to tell me. <laughs> Tell him what? About this treasure that Baggins stole from you. Treasure? What treasure? My lord. The mouth is asking for you, my lord. Again? I must go. Return the bird to his cage. You and I will talk tomorrow. Anything in there? Gollum crawls through mud. Gollum runs from beasts. Gollum breeds slimy orcings. Gollum has been patient, oh yes. What exactly are we looking for? If I knew, I would have told you. It's the daughter. Wouldn't I? You search over there. Yes, mistress. What exactly are we looking for? If I knew, I would have told you. It's the daughter. Wouldn't I? You search over there. Yes, mistress. What does it want? Closer. Don't disturb his books. He keeps a system. It's spying on the master. Nothing here. I'll go look in the study. Shh. Watch. This place drives me crazy. Closer. Find out what it's up to. Was on the list, I heard. And I would love to know why. 
could question it. Hmm. Keep it quiet. It must know something Father wants. Here we go. Here we go, dear father. What is it? A message from Snara, one of his searchers. New information about a place called Shire. Meet at noon. Shire. This might be something the mouse could use. Shire. Baggies. Come. Use how? Again, I tell you if I knew. Let's collect that message. You stay behind and clear this place up. Make sure we leave no traces. <laughs> they want to find baggies. Oh, stop them, precious. Follow them, but quiet. They're getting away. Father's much too busy staring at books and paintings. Come on, let's move. Follow them, quick. Jesus. You, posture. You too. Have some pride. <laughs> yes, mistress. And get some water. You look parched. Hey, we're looking for Snara. Great eyes, he's us. Snara, have you seen him? <laughs> Snara. I saw him talk to the master earlier. Good lad. Not that this my business, mistress. Isn't this treachery? You can't. <laughs> it's none of your business. Snara, I'm told you know where he is. He's watching over Hill 4, up on the lookout. What's she up to now? Up to the tower. Find that Snara before she does. They must never find Baggins. What? Visitors! The woman! Bring her up! Lives. No time for questions. Just silence it. <laughs> All alone now, is it? What on earth would she want now? Nothing. What's to talk about backings, does it? Where is it? Where is it? No! Snora! Snora! They're coming! Get her out of here! Sound me alarm! Body still warm! They can't be far! They'll find us! Yes, they will. In our cell, sleeping like a spider. Yes, we are. We did well. Protected the precious from evil men like we promised. We can't throttle them all. Then find it and hold it and be invisible again. It is time. Old Gollum is ready to vanish. Did you see that freak? Yeah, they call him Gollum. He's been down here forever. Hey, you got something for me? Shh! After 
the night hold you blows. Cold white. The light and all. What did he want? The, uh, the sorcerer. Why did he summon you? It's better the Grashnik doesn't know too much, isn't it, my dear? Oh. So, uh, Smeagol? Is, is that your name? How did you end up in this hole? Try to catch a beetle. A beetle? What about him? Me? Oh, well, uh, I was a soldier. Not a very good one. First battle, I got scared, so I ran. Obviously, I'm not good at running, either. Not very fast, is he? But he can drive a cart. Grashnik should get some sleep. I don't think I can. I can't take my eyes off that tower. Sleep. Smeagol will keep watch. Aren't you tired? Of course we are, of course. So tired. But Smeagol can bear it. He has bought lots of things he has for a very, very long time. He wants to pick the nicest maggots, doesn't he? From the nicest bread. What are you talking about? Where are my flasks? We've got a better thing than flasks. Better than dreams. Better than sleep. A number. A number? One that will earn his master's gratitude. Closer. So we can tell him what we learned about the Candleman spy and who murdered him tonight. Huh. Oh. How I hate the horn. Here they come. Which one is he? The fat one. You, number. My, your number. 10, 60, 92, 21. That's the one. Huh. You, come with us. Oh, why? Grashnik has done nothing wrong, we swears. Just a couple of questions. Nothing to worry about. Now it counts. One more time. One more. 